All right, guys, I'm going to try to do a quick impromptu video here of my Arrow Chief build. Uh, it's very large. It won't fit on the little cake turntable that I have, but I will try to hold this as steady as I can. Explain to you guys some of the things I did to it. Uh, it is basically built box stock uh, with some additions that I did add to it, which would be the beacon rays on top of it, uh, the Mars lights here on the front. I made the rotor ray for it. I uh, updated the bell with one of my metal bells that I make. Some 3D printed speakers on the front. Notice I put the horns underneath the front bumper. Uh, updated the uh, mirrors on it. Made made those out of uh, just some flat pieces of styrene, some styrene rod. The kit mirrors for this kit absolutely are atrocious. I don't know if you can see inside or not. But, yeah, this is a... Uh, it's a good kit. Uh, it's one that I got in the uh, estate find that I've been working with a guy to uh, obtain these kits from. The boom does articulate and, and it moves. It moves up and down. Like I said, this is a this is a large model. It's it's hard to get something like this on camera, but uh, we done some details in the back. We added some extra lights to it. Everything does work and function on it. The stabilizers do function. <clears throat> it barely fits in my display cabinet. It has to go in there sideways. Kind of hides in the back. And I've got... Uh, I made this one to match, match the uh, pumper that I built. The red pumper. Didn't come out too bad. I wish I could get it on camera better with the on the turntable, but that's impossible. It did have the some typical fit issues uh, that this kit is notorious for, but I think I masked most of them fairly well. But yeah, that's uh, one of five of these that I have. All right, thanks for watching.